Hello fellow Capricorns. Um, today I will be doing your reading for the next two weeks. We'll look at possibly your current energy um, and what's coming for you in the next two weeks here. Can be, you know, we can also take a look into the past. We'll just kind of see what comes out and what energy I'm picking up. And we can, whoops, we can use some cards to clarify as well. Um, so yeah, I please let me know if this reading resonates for you or if you just enjoyed it. Um, maybe shoot me a comment, like, subscribe, just so you can get all the updates on the the next few readings that I do. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Um, so yeah, let me just finish shuffling here and then we'll, we'll dive in. I am not the best shuffler. <laughs> I've been practicing, I promise, but I've just never been very good at it. So we'll just do this a few times and oh, that one was pretty good. All right. So we'll split the deck. Yeah, so let's just see what, what comes out. There you go. Okay, so sometimes I try to do it this way. So Spirit, what is coming towards Capricorn in the next two weeks, Spirit? Oop. What is coming towards our Capricorn, Spirit? Come on, baby. Sometimes this doesn't work for me. So if I get told that I need to just pull these from the deck, that's what I'm probably going to have to do here. Spirit, what is coming towards Capricorn? Okay, one more time, one more time. What is coming towards my Capricorn spirit? Okay, I don't know why that doesn't always work for me. Let's just see. Oh, okay. First chakra, okay, that's in reverse. So that's telling me that, I mean, this could definitely be your past energy that maybe you haven't been feeling very secure, very stable in, in a certain situation that you're in. Um, you could possibly be having doubts about the person that you're with. They're not bringing a sense of security and stability t towards you. You're not feeling a close connection because possibly you're worried that they're doing something behind your back. Um, or this could be a feeling that, that will arise, okay, for whatever particular reason. Okay, adjacent possibilities in reverse. So because of this, this feeling of insecurity and instability in, in your current situation, this could be a job, um, a relationship, just any situation that you're not feeling very sure of. Um, and you're not seeing any possibility, any possibilities in front of you. You're not seeing a way out of it. It's like you're kind of stuck, but you don't feel comfortable there. And excuse me, it's blocking off these possibilities. It's like a warning not to miss out on new possibilities coming towards you because of the scent, the feeling that you're, you know, you're kind of stuck. It's like you're stuck in a situation, but that might stop you from, from a possibility that could be really good for you. Wow. Capricorn, angel of balance in reverse. Yeah. You're feeling very out of balance. Um, I'm definitely picking up, this is your current energy or, or recent past, but very, out of balance, insecure, unstable. Um, this could definitely be some kind of job or some kind of relationship here, but it's blocking off good possibilities that could be right in your face because you're not feeling good about yourself or a situation or relationship that you're in. Could be a relationship you know you need to get out of in order for these possibilities to open up for you. Like, you know, this relationship is no good for you. It's not bringing you any kind of balance journey, right? So there's definitely some kind of trip that you need to take. That could be an inner journey to figure out what it is you truly want. Or maybe there is another person that you, you know, 
could be secretly or just you want to move towards okay but that that possibility seems blocked off for you right now like you're feeling like it's not a possibility but it's like the universe is saying you need to go towards what makes you happy what is going to bring you stability and and balance okay so if you know what this is that you're kind of afraid to go towards um you need to listen to your intuition okay and decide possibly to to take that journey okay maybe someone lives at a distance um you could also be in a relationship a long distance relationship and you're feeling really insecure like they're cheating on you maybe or they're um it's just throwing you out of balance you're feeling not very stable in it maybe you need to take a trip to see them to see what the heck really is going on maybe surprise them i don't know but something yeah contract so if something is you're in some kind of binding situation so it's like you feel stuck in the situation that you're in but it makes you feel like crap being in it okay so you're you, you're not feeling secure you're not feeling stable you're you're not feeling romantic intimate it's just some everything's kind of blocked and off balance because of this this binding situation that you feel stuck in you know it could definitely be a marriage with the contract being here and there's a journey that is coming up in your future so that you know for the next two weeks that could definitely be something you decide to do or maybe someone is going to take a journey towards you and surprise you hmm. broken heart in reverse so huh. I feel like there is a person that you want to go towards that is is it's almost like I'm getting two meanings from the broken heart card it's like one situation might break your heart but you're moving towards something that is the opposite it's something that's going to repair your heart something that's going to fill your heart you're definitely moving towards with the journey here and the contract could also be moving towards a different serious relationship than the one that you're possibly in and it's going to bring you a, a full heart because this is in reverse so it's something that you do want you're, you're gonna you're moving towards or you're going to make that decision to move towards what it is your heart truly desires because your heart is is set on somebody okay so let's get some some other I want to clarify let's see I want to clarify the contract I want to see what what this contract means to you who this person possibly is if this is a new person if this is somebody that you are currently in some kind of binding contract with whether it's you know, it could be a job that you feel really obligated to, but it makes you feel like crap. A, a relationship that you feel stuck in that makes you feel like crap. Okay. So, Spirit, can you please clarify contact for me? Oh, okay. That worked that time. Well, it came out reversed. Hmm. Self-love in reverse. So, it's telling, that's telling me that whoever, whatever situation you are in, this person doesn't let you, they're not giving you the love. Like, they're not making you feel... <sighs> loved you're just you don't feel loved by this person okay um they don't really appreciate when you take time to pamper yourself they don't appreciate you taking any time to yourself for self-love okay so i'm definitely getting that is it is a a job or a relationship here that doesn't let you be who you are okay and, and you're stuck in this you feel stuck in this situation but it's time to make that journey take that journey towards what's going to fill your heart 
what's going to bring you balance, stability, and open this new door to possibilities here. So, I was going to say I want to clarify the journey card, and this flew out. So, release. Yeah. You need to release whatever this this binding situation that you're in because you're not it's not going to bring you any I mean you're not going to be able to appreciate yourself you're not going to be able to love anybody else fully because this situation is like a trap it is keeping you feeling like crap about yourself and you need to release it and and take this journey these came out you know that's what I was trying to clarify you need to release this toxic situation and go towards what it is that makes you happy here. And I think you know what that is. And I think it's going to, you know, because this is your reading for the next two weeks. So I think it's like about to, something's about to give here. You're about to decide. That was way too many. So what's, um, Spirit, can you please clarify the broken heart in reverse? Okay in reverse. So first one out, we have surrender. And then we have action in reverse. So this is basically just clarifying. Yeah, you need to surrender to the universe. Um, let the universe guide you, listen to your intuition and start moving, release this negativity in your life and take action because it's in reverse. It's like you're, you're feeling stuck. You're not ready to take action. You don't feel like it's a possibility for you right now. It's just not in the cards for you right now. It's not a good choice right now. Whatever that is. Um, if it's a person that you're feeling like you need to move towards, move out of one relationship and towards another, you're afraid to take action, to go towards that. But the universe is telling you to, to release just let it go. Go with the flow. Surrender to the universe. Surrender to your love. Follow your love. Okay? Because you're you're not in a good place where you're at. You might have some happy moments here and there, but if you really stop and think about it, whatever situation you're in is not bringing you yeah, your boundaries, okay? You're feeling stuck. You're feeling like someone is like almost suffocating you. And you can't even, you don't even have time to yourself here. It's like, wow, someone is suffocating you. Wow. And it's time to let them go because this is not working out. You're about to take that leap though because it's in the, it's in your future here. You're about to release. You're about to surrender take your luggage and just head for the hills or just, yeah, you're about to leave because this is not, not serving you. Definitely not serving you. I'm going to actually move on to the spirit animal. Okay. Spirit animal deck. And we're going to get some advice from spirits it's just to see what maybe they suggest. Spirit, what's your advice for this person? No, we do know you do need to release it, but maybe just some like extra confirmation or extra advice. Woo! All right. Ladybug, good luck. Wow. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. So basically, Spirit's saying luck is on your side. You need to let worry go, like it says, and be happy here and now. And just feel good about being a loving and colorful you. Show yourself that self-love. Show yourself that you're strong enough to leave this toxic crap behind you. Break out of this freaking bubble here, right? You're in a bubble. Wow. And take action, you know, let's flip this over. Take action, surrender, release, and you have luck on your side. You have the universe on your side guiding you. 
I'm definitely feeling like this, you know, it could be a job that, that makes you just feel terrible about yourself, but I feel like it's a person. There's somebody in your life that is really not, you know, they don't deeply care about you. They're just toxic for you. They're keeping you in this little bubble. It's like they're overly protective and they're blocking off your abundance from you, your, your true possibilities. Humpback Will, singer. Maybe you are a singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Yes, align with your purpose and the power in your soul. So maybe you do. Maybe you do love to sing, Cappy. Is this, maybe you're a singer. Maybe you need to and this person doesn't let you express yourself. Like maybe they even know you're really good, but it's almost like they're jealous or something. And they're trying to block you from doing, pursuing your dreams or just moving towards a situation that could, you know, be very fulfilling for you. They want to keep you in one spot. They know your power, but they want to keep you all to themselves is what I'm getting here. They, they want to keep you, they're blocking off all these possibilities for you because they want to keep you to themselves. Very domineering and pro not even protective, like jealous. I'm getting a lot of jealousy and um, dominance. Just they really, yeah, they just want to keep you all to themselves. And that's a really, <sighs> really bad energy I'm getting. It's just not, I mean, they have their own, oh, another one, no own issues that they need to work out before they can even start to give their love to somebody because you, you have a lot of love and you have the universe on your side and maybe you're seeing signs that are pushing you out of this and you're just having a hard time releasing it because it's comfortable for you. But you're about to make, you know, I feel like it's something's going to give, like I said, you're going to make that that leap out of this you can't stay in that bubble too long so this fell out dear love be gentle with yourself you heal with the power of love see the light in all things acknowledge your self-worth and grace exactly acknowledge your self-worth you need some TLC some self-love because this person I feel like has knocked you down knocked you down knocked you down and, and has kept you in this bubble because they don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want, because they know you're amazing and powerful. They want you all to themselves, but it's time for you to be gentle with yourself. Okay. You need to take time and go towards what it is you want, not what they want for you. You decide your own journey here. Journey. Don't let them decide that for you. Okay. If it's, if this person is who I feel they are and they're really just toxic to you, then you need to go. And I feel like you're about to make that choice here in the next two weeks. Doesn't have to be the next two weeks, but this, you know, we're doing a two week reading here. So I'm just getting within the next two weeks, something's going to come to a head and you're going to realize, hey, I'm done. I'm done. You're going to burst out of this bubble here. You're, these doors are all going to open for you. And you're maybe you want to be a singer, like it says here, or just sing in your car. Just to finally be able to sing by yourself in your car without someone saying something to you. I feel like someone's just always on your ass. That's what I'm getting. It's like, back off. Wow. Yeah. So something's about to happen, Capricorn. You're about to make a choice to walk away from this toxic junk, okay? And good luck, okay? You have luck on your side. You're going to do this. You have the universe backing you. You have love, you know? You have all of these beautiful energies backing you. And then these <laughs> nasty energies that you need to get out of here, okay? All right, I hope this brought clarity to somebody or just insight, anything, confirmation to what you were already feeling. Let me know if it resonated. I would love to hear, okay? All right, good luck, Capricorns. Have a good night. Bye.